Hello all, welcome to the playlist of training on competitive examination. In this session, I will be discussing few more questions related to sum of product and product of sums in one of the important subjects, digital electronics. You can expect these kind of questions in the different type of competitive examination. In the last session, I have discussed about what do you mean by SOP and uh, how to make out SOP from a given two table and uh, how to simplify using POS form. Uh, I have given one example also and uh, later on I have I could able to compare SOP with the POS. And also I have discussed two or three numerical examples. In this session I will be discussing eight uh, MCQ related to SOP and POS. First of all let us read the first question. A product term containing all k variables of the function in either complemented or uncomplemented form is called dash. It is basically called a min term. Okay, you can note down the answer min term. Okay, so a product term containing all k variables of the function in either complemented or uncomplemented form is known as min term. In the opposite sense, we can in the opposite manner. A sum term containing all k variables of the function in either complemented or uncomplemented form is known as max term. I request you to note on these two points, very very important for exam point, competitive exam point of view. You may expect these kind of questions. According, next question, according to the property of min term, how many combinations will have value equal to 1 for k input variable? Of course, it is 1 only. You can select option B. Option B is the right answer. The main property of min term is that it possesses the value of 1 for only one combination of k input variables and remaining will have the value 0. Moving on to the third question. A variable on its own or its complemented form is dash. Product term, literal, sum term, word. Actually, a variable on its own or its complemented form is known as literal. I have to select option B. Option B is the correct answer. Moving on to fourth question. Canonical form is unique way of representing dash. SOP, then mean term, Boolean expression, POS. Of course, you know that canonical form, it is one of the way of simplification of Boolean expression. So, please do select option C. Option C is the correct answer. Select option C. Question number 5. There are dash min terms for 3 variables. Suppose n is equal to 3. That means 3 variables like a, b, c. Then there are dash min term. How many min terms are there? Min number of min terms is equal to 2 raised to n. That is nothing but uh, 2 raised to 3. I will be writing here 2 to the power 3. What is 2 to the power 3? 2 to the power 3 is nothing but 8. So please select which option will you select? Okay, 2 to the power 3 means 8. So, I can select option C. Option C is the correct answer. Let us discuss question number 6. Dash expressions can be implemented using either 2 level AND or logic circuits or 2 level NAND logic circuit. It is actually the sum of product SOP. You can able to implement SOP by using 2 level AND or logic circuits or 2 level NAND logic circuits. Question number 7. LSI stand for? LSI is nothing but large scale integration. Please do select option A. LSI. Question number 8. The output of AND gates in the SOP expression is connected by using dash gate. You know that uh, SOP, sum of product AB plus BC. For example, AB plus BC. F is equal to AB plus BC. The question implies, the question represents A dot B now, A dot B. Okay, this is product. Sum of this product, SOP, right? So, this is AND actually. Here, AND gate is required, this dot. Wherever dot is there, AND is required. To correlate, to add these terms, we require one OR gate. Okay, so the right answer for this question is option D. Please find out the right answer as option D. So, these are the questions which I discussed. In this session, I have discussed the basics of POS and I just recall what is SOP and POS. Later, I have discussed some important question based on this concept. Okay. 
this may be asked before coming examination in different manner in the next session i am going to discuss about kern of math based on that i will be discussing a uh, few more questions related to k map okay so if you are having any clarifications please put up in the comment box i will revert finally thank you very much for watching this video